Hello everyone and welcome to my Realism Overhaul series in KSP Beta. You saw me put together this install in three episodes and test it out and make sure everything is working out. So now we finally get to enjoy the fruits of that labor and to see what it has in store for us. Now during that install process I did make a test career save here but I'm going to delete that right now and I'm going to start a new one because I want to take a look at the at the options a little bit uh, more closely so um, I'm gonna keep it to well uh, it's ultimately gonna be custom but I'm going to say uh, no reverting flights missing crews don't respawn auto hire crew members before flight no and uh, we'll have entry purchase required I'm just going to have uh, the high st starting funds and the standard rewards. So these options allow quick loading uh, just in case for glitches I suppose because uh, there's bound to be some glitches and I think that's worthwhile but otherwise uh, everything as you see it like this. Okay so I'll call it normal difficulty except with a uh, little bit of modification. I don't know if moderate might have been the same thing or not. Anyway uh, let's go. Now, in the course of this series, I'm going to actually go back and forth between career and sandbox at times because I also have a side project where I want to get stuff to Mars and try stuff out at Mars. And so that's got to be my sandbox stuff. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to be focused on career, but uh, I will have that sandbox area as well. So uh, keep that in mind. I'm not allowing respawn. Tack life support is enabled and we are enabling tech manager to use the community tech tree so we can use the rp0 tech tree so let's go to that so this is the rp0 tech tree and so we're starting out with early sounding rockets small solid and liquid engines okay and we need 25 research to get to the next tier so that's our goal for this episode and let's go to the contract screen so the basic contracts are here launch a new vessel definitely and setting an altitude record we've got a sounding rocket record here let's get this one first okay and then we'll aim for 10,000 after that alright uh, let's go to the VAB then actually you know what let me just quickly time warp to daylight okay so this is our only probe core sounding rocket avionics package and it doesn't have any reaction control and I think we don't have any reaction wheels so we're going to have to deal without that now this is pretty much going to be at the top of our thing now parachutes uh, large but scalable oh but not continuously scalable oh no here it is uh, but you know what I don't want to recover this one I don't think there's any... is there any point to recover this? Is there any science on it? I don't think there is. So I'm gonna leave it uh, not recoverable and instead going with a... because this parachute... well it's procedural it looks like. How much does it cost? It costs 98 at this scale. No, it pretty much costs 98. No, I don't need that. I can build a cheaper rocket, I'm sure. A lot of these parts are cheaper, beca uh, cheap because we are uh, this is sounding rockets, and we're gonna have to do a lot of experimentation. That's the name of the game for this episode. We're gonna have a lot of experimentation, and we're gonna waste a lot of rockets doing that experimentation. And so I want cheap stuff here. I think 0.3 is the size. Yeah, this this nose cone hardly costs anything. I mean, we'd have to, huh? Actually, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, maybe they need to fix that. Yeah, this should cost something at least. Hmm. Anyway, well, I'm going to accept it for now. It's just a nose cone after all. So we've got a nose cone for our sounding rocket. Now we need... Let's go with SRBs first. Now, obviously, they didn't. I don't think they really meant for us to have this big a SRB because once you turn down the diameter, it immediately goes to 0.2. So I think 0.2 is the limit. All right, uh, but if 0.2 is the limit, that's short of what we need for this. 
So we need something in the middle there to smooth out stuff. We could put a battery. Don't need a life support tank. Haha, <laughs> decoupler. Well, a structural element seems right. I don't... Well, I guess the battery would be more useful anyway. Might cost a little bit more, but... Oh, conveniently sized. And so I want a cone, and I want the bottom to be 0.2. That looks vaguely rocket-like. Okay. Uh, oh, it still costs 99. Uh, how much was the sod fuel booster? Really, the structural element cost that much? Yeah, the structural elements cost too much. Let's try a battery. Oh, no, uh, that was the battery. Uh, structural element instead. Now, how much do you cost? Nothing. Okay, good. There you go, we got a 23 fund rocket here. What's our delta V? Oh, uh, that, that's pretty good, except we don't need it running for only 5 seconds. Now, we don't have any control over this. This uh, I don't think there's thrust vectoring, is there? Um, well, there's a gimbal range of 0.25, but that's not going to be enough to do anything. Um, what we are going to need for it to do is do a gravity turn. In other words, let gravity do all the work for us. But we need to hit the right thrust to weight ratio in order to get that done. I would estimate that that has to be way above, well, well above 1.6 and probably something closer to 2. Let's start at the bottom end of my estimated range and see what happens. Let's say 1.6. Uh, let's go for 70 seconds. Oh, no. Uh, 70 seconds just so we get a nice round number. So 1.7. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, the probe itself has an integrated omni always on antenna of 200 kilometers, which should be more than enough. And so now we have. Oh, the price actually went down when I turned down the burn time. Is that right? Oh yeah. So the the price of the sod rocket booster depends on the burn time. That is a thing I did not know. Okay. So we've got that going for us, and launch clamp only costs 11, uh, 10 bucks. Okay, well, we're going to recover that anyway. Alright, so this is our first rocket, so we'll call it uh, Alpha. Alpha 1. Alright, here we go. Okay, here it is. It's connected according to that, but it would be connected at this point anyway. Uh, there's no SAS module, so pressing T does not have any effect. You can throttle up. But that also has no effect because it's a solid fuel booster. Hmm. Alright. Here we go. We're just going to see how high it gets. What we want uh, 5,000 meters, of course. Alright. Uh, oh, the landscape is just very dark, that's why. It looked like we were in the middle of water, but no, no, that's just because we're in the early dawn and the landscape is darker than the green, green grounds of the of the KSC. Oh, this is going pretty good so far. It might be going too good, actually. I don't want it to go past 10,000, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna deflect. So let's see if I can use some of the gimbling to control this. Not really. Uh, you can see my yaw. I'm trying to deflect it, but it's not happening very much. Let me just pull up. That's the maximal thing we can do here. Wow, gravity is just not bothering with this thing. What's far have to say about this? I'm surprised. Well, terminal velocity is only 169 here, so which is actually very low. Up, oh, we're past 10,000. Huh? Who knew? Okay, should have picked up that other contract. Oh no, I don't need far help right now.
Okay, well this thing is just gonna crash into the surface. Says we launched a new vessel, but it didn't uh, record to achieve an altitude of 5,000. That's a chip. Why didn't it uh, record this one? So I did make one change to the install since my uh, my three videos on installing this, and that's to update Deadly Reentry. And so now Deadly Reentry has this option: warn when it's unsafe to deploy parachutes due to heating. So I'm gonna turn that off, and now we won't get that annoying message. Yay! So that was my major concern from the previous episode. Fulfilled and bam. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go back to the Space Center. Well, we got uh, five signs for that. But now we have to hit 21 kilometers. Should have got the 10 kilometer one. This is still hanging out. Hmm, well, I'll try one more time and then I'll just have to cancel it, I guess. We've got plenty of funds now. And now we need 25 in order to do anything further and unlock more technologies. Um, okay, so there is a blue area here. It's just the landscape is very dark right now because the sun is very low. Well, not that low. The lighting is a little bit weird. Okay, we need to go higher. I'll be honest, I'm sort of surprised that this one actually made it up to the height that it did. And frankly, find that suspicious. But uh, okay. I mean, 0.2 tons, uh, I think uh, that's quite an impressive feat. But if we're going to go any higher, I think we need to go liquid fueled on this. So let's, uh, this, this liquid fuel engine has a thrust of 6.7, so maximum, maximum uh, mass that can carry is 0.67 tons. We're not going to do any change to this upper portion. Maybe a battery. Maybe I'll bite the cost and put a battery on instead. We we are we are well funded now. Uh, cone, cone. Oh, we probably don't need to go to point two anymore. I don't think the fuel tanks aren't uh, limited to point two. So we're gonna go to point three on the fuel tank. So it'll be just straight like that. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I had it. What I wanted was the length. And let's make it a service module one just uh, to be safe. I don't think these are pressure fed. Does not say so. Oh, it is pressure fed. Okay, so that needs to be, uh, needs to be a service module tank then. Okay, aniline and inhibited red fuming nitric acid. Okay, that's a lot more delta V, though uh, the thrust to weight ratio isn't good. Hmm. Maybe some side boosters? Yeah, I think what we need is uh, some side boosters. Uh, let's not make them decoupling. Decoupling costs money. Let's say two, and we'll have the burn time be the same as we had for the first rocket. Well, that will do a lot. We'll try not to get too high this time, and we, this time we'll be able to shut off the the engine on this one, so that, that'll probably save us. Thrust to weight ratio is higher, so it should be even better off. And I just want cones now on the top of that. Okay, I think it's good to go. You know what, maybe I should... I wonder if the antennas do have drag, in which case if I attach an antenna on one side, it'll pull it down on that side. And thereby give me an actual gravity turn. I don't think it's turning right now. So if I, if I put like something on one side that will produce some drag, then I will have a proper gravity turn. That's something to think about when I'm not trying to reach altitudes. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to turn this thing after all. Okay, uh, throttle up. And nothing doing. Let's go.
see this from a long distance. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, our target was what? 21,000. Looking good. I guess I should pay attention to what the temperature is on this stuff. Oh, practically nothing, amazingly enough. This seems not to be right to me. Oh wait, those nose cones are getting serious temperature though. Okay, solid fuel boosters out. And... Let's shut down there. Okay, so we made uh, that contract. Good. But I still haven't made this one. I'm just going to cancel it. I'll take the penalty. I need to be able to pick up two useful contracts. Strange way to go. Don't know why it's sideways like that. There's definitely no, no asymmetry in that direction. Looks like we're safely off to the side. Curious about far these days. It seems to have changed a lot from what I know. Terminal velocity 99, 96, 95, 94. Uh, not unreasonable necessarily. But it feels a little bit different than I'm used to. Okay. Alright, well, uh, amazingly, our probe core is still here, so I guess once it settles down, I'll uh, recover vessel. Hello. Okay, uh, come on. Look, I know you don't have SAS, but at some point you're going to have to settle down. Okay, so we got recovery of a vessel that survived the flight, so five signs. <laughs> Not exactly as intended, but okay. And uh, we got two funds back for that. Amazing. Alright, so contract screen. 32 kilometers. Okay, let's not go too far above that. I'll avoid the escape the atmosphere just yet, yet. just uh, 32 kilometers. Wait, did we get any signs for a 32 kilometer one? Okay, this I'm just gonna cancel now. Oh. I can't cancel it? Okay, well I can't have it lingering here. Um... I know one thing I can do. I'm just gonna call it complete. We did do it, right? Okay. I hate using the cheat menu at any time, but that's basically what it's for. It's for debugging as far as I'm concerned, and that was a bug. So, anyway, we've got that now. And we can continue on with this, but no science for this. Uh, escaping the atmosphere will give us the required science, so that's good. Let's let's not stall. Maybe let's let's go for escaping the atmosphere. I don't see any reason to wait around. Okay, this was pretty good, but not quite good enough. I don't think. What we need to do is maybe maybe we will do separation of boosters. Oh, these only cost twenty. This is all very cheap, actually. Maybe I should have gone hard mode on it. Because I don't think I needed that much money to make it happen. Uh, let's start with one and then do symmetry after I attach stuff. Okay, that's pretty low on the... Oh, that's because the main engine isn't down there. Alright, that's better. Let's get the center bit. That's a battery, okay. We don't need that big a battery. There we go. Yep, that looks about right. We don't need 2.8. Maybe uh, extend the body a little bit more. Uh, that's probably pushing it. Okay, that makes me feel better. Okay, so this will be Alpha 3. Uh, 
Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, throttle up, not that it matters, and SAS is non-existent, control is non-existent. Let's go. Now we've got some initial deviation here. Maybe I should add wind or something. I know there's a mod for it. Then the effect of that would be just to say that uh, there is a maximum amount of wind that we can launch with. I'm trying to find a view without any aliasing. Okay. Ooh, those decoupled in a hurry. And this is still accelerating. Getting a little bit horizontal here, though. We might uh, reach the range of this antenna. The antenna range is only 200 kilometers, and we're trying to get into space. And space in realism overhaul is 130 kilometers. So if we go too far down range, we will be. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, the nose cone. Oh. Okay, so maybe acceleration on that stage a little bit too fast for 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 our heating situation. But we reached a sounding rocket record. Okay. All right. Well, I'll take that. Let's go back to space center. Okay. Is there an interim contract now? Okay. There's a fifty-five thousand. All right. Let's do that. So we need we need to reduce the thrust weight ratio of that portion. Uh, having it be close to two is clearly too much. We can always shut down the engine if it's not working out quite right. Oh, I know. I can reduce the burn time of these. That's what I need to do. Yeah, let's go like this. And put these a little bit further down. That's a little bit tall. We'll see if it works. Alright, here we go. Oh no, it's deflecting inland. Uh, if I can change that to over water, that'd be nice. Uh, okay, wow, those are overheating? Looks like we're headed southwest. Anything important southwest? I really can't control this. I tried deflecting it east, but it didn't work. Okay, those are off. Okay, let's monitor temperatures here. Well, that's not having any temperatures at all. Huh, why would have it exploded? Uh, it's got such low temperatures through this region. Oh, now it's going crazy. What the heck? Hey, 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 don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What the How strange. What's its limit? Oh, it's doing bad things. Okay, uh this is going up now. Shoot. Okay, that's sudden and unexpected. Delhi re-entry. Alternate heating model. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad thing. Alternate density calculation. I don't know. Normal seems like the right mode for me, but that didn't work out right at all. I don't think I've ever had a rocket explode that high. 
Well, due to heating, I mean. Heating usually occurs between 30 and 40 kilometers uh, when, I, when we talk about critical stuff. Okay, well, we uh, hit the altitude target, amazingly enough. So, 80 kilometers. So, I don't know. There seems to be something weird here. What's the highest thrust weight ratio we get? We don't get pretty high. I mean, uh, the highest thrust weight ratio is 5.54. Nothing much at all. Maybe I need something that is a little bit more heat shielded than this procedural nose cone. How much shielding does that nose cone have? Only to 800 degrees. Protective nose cone. Okay, well that sounds sounds protective to me. Okay, let's scale down quite a lot. Uh, doesn't look very good. All right. Okie dokie. So let us see how this works out with the protective nose cone. I don't have too much hope that it makes all that much difference, but we'll see. Uh oh, we're deflecting west. And those decouplers overheat, but then again, I size them down. I know if you size things down, I guess their heat tolerance sometimes decreases. I'm gonna try my best to knock this. I can rotate it fine, it seems. Um, I'm just trying to get this further south here. Okay, well, those are off. I don't know how good a job I did. I can't see the landscape at all. Let me let me check map view for a sec. No, it is just pretty dark here now. Still pretty early. Maybe it's something about the atmosphere I don't know. I mean, of course, there are different layers to the atmosphere, and maybe there's just a region that's really hot that suddenly far is taken into account or something like that. Or daily re-entry, right? Because temperature is more of a deadly re-entry thing. Whatever it is, it starts like on 36 kilometers exactly. Starts going up really quickly. Slows down a bit. At the ambient temperature is going up, so it's some sort of layer in the atmosphere. Ambient temperature goes up to 2.5 degrees Celsius, then starts going back down. Not fast enough to lower the actual temperature, because we're getting pretty horizontal here, too. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, protective nose cone is gone, and that's the end of the craft. We didn't make 80 kilometers this time. Okay, hmm... What to do, what to do. Light a rocket later. Shut it down, light it later. Okay, let's try that. So let's reduce the size of this stage. Ooh, that does bad things. Hold on. Come on, you're supposed to be connected to that. This sometimes happens with, uh, oh, no, bad with the procedural tanks here. Okay, but I need another stage. Let's just make it another Aerobee sustainer stage so I can switch it off if necessary. Okay, I'll make it a one minute stage. Now I need a decoupler of some sort. You are too big. Ah, you don't have a shroud on you. Do we have the inner stages from procedural fairings yet? Oh, huge. Okay, that looks about right. Wow, it costs a lot though. But I guess it'll be worth it. Staging bound to cost a lot, I suppose. How much do the fairings cost? Not much, okay. And it will be like that. Hmm. Maybe make that a little bit longer than one minute. 
Give us 20 seconds on that. Okay. I don't know what goes on in that part of the atmosphere. But let's try and beat it. Alpha 6. Okay, so I don't know whatever this alternate heating model is. It's not being very nice to me, but here we go. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Did the wrong thing. Staging bad. Okay, shut down this. Um, I think most of our rocket's still here. <laughs> okay, recover vessel. Wow, first actual disaster. It's about time. Okay, let's uh, fix this up. Okay, launch clamp in the right place. Now let's launch. Uh, really? 19 tons? This little thing? No way. How is it 19 tons? Because how much, how big is the launch clamp? 0.1 ton. I see 1.2 tons. Where's my 19 tons? Okay. That's not right. I mean, that's, that's fine. These? No, these aren't, these aren't that heavy. Okay, something's wrong here. Is it the nose cone? No, it's not the nose cone. It's the actual... Ooh, game, what are you thinking? Alright, well, okay, well, let's just dump these. Well, even that it at this size is less. How strange. 4.1 is uh, still more than what this is telling me. These are only supposed to be 100 and... I don't know about this. These are only supposed to be 139 kilograms a piece. This is making like it's way heavier. Well, I'll launch this. It's just reading the mass wrong for some reason. Okay, well that's going to be a problem as we go forward, but uh, it's not a problem right now, so I'm just going to launch. We will handle one problem at a time, thank you very much. And I am going to be focused on the weird heating in the middle of the atmosphere first. Okay, here we go. All looks good. Okay, booster set. Ah, this stage is not going to get us far enough. That's not good. This stage needs to be longer. Okay. I'm going to set. Ooh, that's a weird sound. And well, I can't do anything about it. Let's fire. So this needs to be smaller. Maybe I should just use a solid booster at this point instead of this one. We need it to wait a little bit longer. This isn't going to work at all. Crazy stuff starts happening around here. What is this? The ozone layer? Is this 
possibly. Well, yeah, possibly. I'll tell you. Oh, uh, whatever. Too late. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. I think I'm gonna call it quits at this point. So next time I'm gonna have to figure out how to get to space through all this. If you have any idea whether something is temp YouTube, I don't know. Um, yeah. Tell me if there's something going on here that I'm missing that maybe I should uh, fix. But uh, maybe it's just that that region of the atmosphere is really really hot, and I need to figure out how to get through it safely. Maybe a lot of little ions bumping around. Don't know. Uh, so yeah, probably the next thing to do is try a solid fuel uh, booster on the upper stage instead of that uh, that Allen burning rocket, the Araby sustainer. Yeah, but I'll hold off on that till the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.